Alright, hi guys, welcome to another video. Uh, today I'll be showing you how I loop my yo-yos. So, there are two times when I loop. It's when I get a new yo-yo, for example my two new Audi Opuses, or when a yo-yo gets loud. For example, I'll show you how loud this is. So if you can hear that. It's pretty loud. So, looping the yo-yo. Um, helps prevent corrosion, rust, it makes the play a bit smoother, but it also does slow down the yo-yo. So, I don't know, you might think that lube makes it go faster, but it actually makes it, makes it go slower. Um, so, if you put too much, it will become responsive. So, you don't want to put too much, okay? So, I like to, to hold my yo-yos together, so I take off the string, take it apart, like that. I don't like to mix up my strings, so... Ooh, don't drop your yo-yo. Okay, so I'll just take them all apart. Yeah. I like to do lots at the same time because it's faster and, you know, you got your lube, it's a bit messy, you have to clean up afterwards. Okay, that's the yo-yo factory, uh, not yo-yo factory, I yo-yo iceberg. Um, yeah, let me know if you want a review of that. Um, yeah, here is the yo-yo factory lube. Nope, won't focus. Can you see that? Yep, cool. I like it. It's nice and clean. Good design. Doesn't break the lid. And yeah. So how much I put is just a single drop. I don't deshield the bearing. Um, I just put a drop. I don't know if you can see that. Is that focusing? drop like that and then I give it a little bit of a spin and that's it not much just the smallest drop you can give it Let's give it a spin I'll do the same for the rest of my yo-yos all right and that's it Try not to get lube everywhere. Uh, I normally put a tissue underneath, but thought I just cleaned the table, so I normally I normally do that. But yeah. Anyway, then you put the yo-yos together, and it should be good. Easy peasy. Now, if you want to clean your bearing, that's a totally different story. But yeah, this video is just showing you how much lube I put. Anyway, and always put your string on like this, otherwise you get fluff in your bearing. Not great. So I'll quickly put all the yo-yos together because I don't want dust getting in the bearing. Oh yeah, so sad. My nice metal skyver. Give the top view and parallel delimination a throw, just so you can hear how quiet it is compared to before. I hope it is, unless it's the bearing. It's not that noisy, but it's a bit more of a dull sound. Yeah, I think I may need to clean out that bearing. Oh well. Nice. 
Okay, and that's done. So, in summary, get yourself a bottle of lube. You're gonna lube your yo to protect it from corrosion, make it play a bit more smoothly, but it may become more responsive. So put as little as possible, make sure you only put one drop, get it? And then, yeah. Oh, anyway, yeah, that's how I lube my yo-yos. Thank you for watching, and if you like the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, or comment down below a review of any of these yo-yos, let me know. Okay, see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, hello again. I was thinking if my video didn't focus, I'd just do a close-up on my Zephyr 2. Beautiful yo-yo. So I'm just gonna give it a bit of lube. So check it out. One drop. There we go. That's it. Give it a spin around. And that's all you need. Put the yo-yo back together and you're good. Yeah. Always be careful not to strip your axle. Very gentle. Alright, thank you for watching. See you guys. Bye.